The rain may be over, but that downpour continues to flood areas of Sioux Falls. This is what the outdoor campus on the south side of the city is dealing with today. Staff members say the water is receding and expect to be fully operational next week. Kelloland Sarah McDonald shows you which other parks in Sioux Falls are also underwater. Don Kelly, I stopped by Rotary and Tut Hill Parks on the southeast side of Sioux Falls to take a look at how the rain has flooded the playgrounds, infrastructure, and bike trails. Along the bike trail from about Western Avenue all the way into downtown, parks are impacted by floodwaters. One of those parks is Rotary Park, where the water reaches all the way into the picnic shelter and over part of the trail. Now the parks along the Big Sioux River are in the floodway and the floodplain, so it's you know, kind of designed for this. You, you want parks to flood instead of neighborhoods. Parts of the bike path are covered with water. Maris says they put up barricades to block those areas. Please respect the barricades and, and don't go into uh, flooded areas. Just a few miles to the south at Tut Hill Park, you'll see a similar situation. This whole part is like, I, like back then, is, I remember it's all green, now it's covered with, with water. But Maris says once the water goes down, his department will be hard at work. Making sure that the, the bike trail is clear of uh, mud and other things that get deposited with the floodwaters. Uh, make sure that we get our facilities cleaned and, and back open to what uh, the expectations that we've come to expect. The city of Sioux Falls has also asked you to limit your water usage through tomorrow evening due to the heavy rains impacting the sewer system.